Hello and welcome to the library. My name is Courtney Block, User Engagement Librarian here at IU Southeast, and I'll be guiding you through the library and all it has to offer. We'll start here on the main floor or second floor at the service desk, where you can get help with research, find and check out books, and get assistance with any printing needs. When you have questions, we're here to work with you to get the resources you need. All of our services, including book a librarian, reserving study rooms, accessing online databases, books, and more can be handled online. Next to the service desk, you'll find our Floyd County Library collection. With our partnership with the Floyd County Library, you can save time by having materials delivered here, drop off books, and even register and renew your Floyd County Library card. As you move throughout the library, you'll notice several student computers on each floor. You'll also see several lounge areas where you can find a comfy spot to study, read your favorite book or magazine, or just take a moment to relax. We're huge fans of the natural light throughout the building and hope you find the ambiance cozy and welcoming. Moving up to the third floor, you'll find the stacks. This is where you'll find the entire circulating collection of the library. That is all of the books that are available for checkout. Don't forget, if you pick up a book and don't plan to check it out, don't worry about reshelving it. Instead, please place it on one of the carts in the center aisle. And near the elevators, you'll find the event space and IQ wall, which is available to any student, faculty, or staff member in our campus community. You can use the IQ wall for everything from presenting a project to hosting or attending events, screenings, or lectures. On the other side of the third floor, you'll find the Writing Center, where you can get help to become a stronger writer. You'll also find another seating area nearby with a panoramic view of our beautiful campus. We also have several group study room locations throughout the third and first floors that can be reserved online or in person. Moving now to the first floor, you'll notice the Art Gallery, which features rotating exhibitions by students, faculty, staff, and community members. Don't forget, the first floor is a quiet zone, so be sure to keep the volume to a minimum while down here. Next, you'll find the Center for Cultural Resources, or CCR. This is a special collection of resource kits available to anyone following a brief orientation session. There are over 60 kits containing materials organized around universal themes. The first floor also holds our printed journals, but what you'll probably use most often are the hundreds of online journals and other resources that you can access from anywhere. We hope you enjoyed this tour of the library. Remember, we're always here to help you succeed.